Okay, so with this question here, um, it says find the time at which the particle is travelling on a bearing of 45 degrees and the speed of the particle at this time. Now, when it comes to 45 degrees, okay, if we think about our axis system, 45 degrees will actually bisect the angle, won't it, of the x and y axis, because this is 90 degrees, yeah, between x and y axis, they're perpendicular to each other, 45 will literally cut that into two, okay? And we know then, we know that line is, don't we? If we were to draw it using coordinate um, geometry, we'd know that would be y equals x, okay? And that's the point here. Whatever x is, y will be the same. So, for instance, that point there, if x is 1, y would also be 1. If x is 2, y would also be 2 for the point on, the, on, the, on that line there, on that bearing, okay, of 45 degrees. So that means the x and y values will be equal. In other words, the i component, which represents, remember, the x direction, will equal to the j component. Okay? So because velocity defines direction, we can say that these have got to be equal to each other. Right? So on a bearing of 45 degrees, okay, or 0, 45 degrees, these will be equal. So in other words, 16 minus t squared will equal to 31 minus 8t. Okay, so what I can do then, get everything to one side, so I get t squared um, plus 31 minus 8t minus 16, so that'll be t squared uh, minus 8t plus 15 is equal to 0, okay, so then um, we can factorise this, t minus 3, t minus 5, okay, when you have two brackets there, two numbers that multiply to give 15, 3 and 5, make them both minus, so you get, so add it to minus 8. So that means t minus 3 is 0, or t minus 5 is 0, okay? So then we've got t equals 3, or t equals 5, all right? Now, um, it does say then find the speed, so what I need to do then is sub it into my V formula, okay? So the V formula I've got from the question here, so when t is 3, V equals 2, 16 minus 3 squared i plus 31 minus 8 times 3j. Okay, so my velocity vector then will be um, 16 take away 9 is 7, and then 31 take away 24 is also 7. So I get 7i plus 7j. Now, to get the speed, of course, then I would need to. Do the modulus of that, use Pythagoras, 7 squared plus 7 squared, which will be um, 7 root 2, okay? Um, or as a decimal, I think that's 9.9, .9, okay, meters per second, okay? Now, um, so we've got the situation then where t is 3, okay, but what about t is 5, right? So, you know, we've got t is 5 as well. Now, if I plug that in then, when t is 5, I get 16 minus 5 squared, so plug it into the v uh, vector, plus then 31 minus 8 times 5j, so you end up having a minus 9i, and then this becomes minus 9j, okay, I think I've done that right there, okay, however, if the velocity is that there, think about what direction it's going in, minus 9i minus 9j, it's not going on a bearing of 45 degrees, isn't it? Okay. In fact, it will be going on this bearing, okay? Because minus 9i minus 9j will be on that line y equals x, but it'll be over here somewhere. So the bearing will actually be 225 degrees, okay? So um, the results come true because in this case here, the i's will equal the j's, won't they? The i's will equal the j's, but um, we, we can't consider the result for bearing of 45 degrees in that case, okay? So it comes out, though, as you, I'm sure you can see why it comes out, because, um, because I using J components, as I said, are equal there. All right? So since this is not on a bearing of 45 degrees, the only time will be T equals 3, and speed of 9.9 .9 meters per second.